Minecraft, but I can only build with the color black. Like all my previous color videos, before we get started, we've got a wheel to spin. All right, first spin is for plot size. This time we're gonna get 25 by 30. Now, how many rooms do we have to build? Eight. Okay, room number one is gonna be a living room. Room number two is a kitchen. Room number three is a bathroom. Room number four is a storage room. Number five is a theater. Room number six is a gaming room. Number seven is a bedroom. And our last room is another living room. All right, how many floors are we gonna get? Please be one or two, please. Please be one or two. <gasps> We got to! Okay, it's time for our final spin. What style are we gonna get? <gasps> that was almost fairy tale! But we got modern. All right, it's time to build a black modern house with two floors and eight rooms. It is done. Well, I mean, it's empty inside, but you know what I mean. This is our black modern house. It's basically like a um a giant rectangle because I looked up modern houses online and honestly, they're all basically rectangles. So <laughs> that's why this looks like this. I think it's cool though. It has loads of windows, <laughs> as you can see. Um, But the outside is, it's pretty simple. Let me show you the inside. I don't know why, but I actually really like the layout of this house. Basically, when you walk in on the left we have the stairs that go up to the second floor over here this entire area is going to be for the kitchen then through this opening this is going to be a storage room and over here is going to be the bathroom now my favorite part about this house is actually right over there behind me but you know how the wheel gave us two living rooms? I was gonna separate the spaces, but I decided to kind of put them together into one massive space. It's, it's gonna count. I know it's technically one room, but I'm counting it as two. Are you ready to see it? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> this room is huge. Maybe it's a bit excessive, but I really like it. There's so many windows in here. And also, there's a little balcony up there from the second floor looking down. It's beautiful. But okay, as we go up the stairs this way, the first area is gonna be for the gaming room. This over here is gonna be the theater. And if we walk over this way, the room with the balcony is the bedroom. You know, normally I start decorating my houses like downstairs first and then upstairs, but this time we're decorating the bedroom first. This is literally so perfect. The furniture mod that I have has so many black furniture items. Look at this, they're fancy modern tables. I wonder what it would look like with the lamps on it though. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, but wait, we need a fancy modern bed right there. That's black. This is literally so perfect. <gasps> okay, wait, and then we can add a bed. No, a bed, no, a bed sheet. This is cute. I don't actually like how the lights go gray when they're on though, so I'm just gonna turn them off. <gasps> Why am I not using fairy lights? Okay, wait a second. We have options. We need the crafting table. We could either do regular lights or have stars and moons. I love that. Oh, stop. <laughs> that is so cute. Okay, I wanna put stars and moonlights everywhere. I mean, it might not fit the whole modern vibe. Maybe it does, I don't know. Where else could I put them? Um, maybe, uh, would it be weird if I just like kind of do that? <gasps> no, I love it. These are the cutest fairy lights I've ever seen in my entire life. I think it would be nice to have a little black carpet go around the bed. Over here, we can have some of these black cubby baskets. We also have some of these smaller ones. And then on them, we can have some statues, a cool lamp. And can I individually place these stars around? <gasps> Let's see. If I stand here, and crouch, can I place you? <gasps> Stop, wait, okay. It, why does it look like a lollipop? Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> I'm gonna cry. That's so, wait, wait, what does the moon look like? Moon. <laughs> I I can't right now. I, I love fairy lights. But okay, we also have a couple of plants that have black pots. I don't know if that's cheating 
with the touch of green, but I'm going to allow it. I think it looks nice. Let's put a couple more plants on the wall by the bed. Maybe we could put a clock over here. And then in the corner, we could add a laundry basket with a couple of pillows on the floor. Moving on to the theater room. I want to start by raising up the floor a little bit with some blocks and slabs. That way we can put some sofa chairs up here and then some lower over here. Because I don't really like how flat these blocks look next to each other, I want to add a couple of trap doors that kind of make it look nicer. And then on the floor in the middle of the room, we can add a carpet. On the sides of the room, I want to add these little theater lights. And then because I don't really have any black speakers, I'm going to pretend that these wall boxes are speakers. In the middle of this back wall, we'll have a TV. Under the TV, we could have a little table. That way we can make some popcorn. Since the popcorn that I have in game is red and yellow, I can't place it in this room. But we could pretend that this microwave has popcorn cooking in it. On the entry to the theater room, we can add a bunch of these black banners to kind of pretend that they're curtains. So that when you watch a movie, you could just like cover this up and you wouldn't get light from the window in. Then to make this place feel even more like a theater, we can alternate these blocks to look like soundproofing foam. I have just discovered something. This whole time, you could turn the TV on. I feel so dumb. I had no idea. Look at how cool that is. But anyway, let's go decorate the gaming room. We can start by adding a glass desk along this back wall just because it looks very modern. <laughs> then on the desk, we obviously need our monitor, our keyboard, our mouse, and our PC. We could put a shelf on the wall with a little plant. A chair can go over here. We could add a fun checkered carpet. Over here, we can add a dumbbell to uh, pretend that we stop gaming sometimes to work out. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> But then one last thing for the space is I kind of want to do the same soundproofing foam that I did in the theater just because it looks really cool and a lot of gaming setups have stuff like that. So we can cover this wall with pretend sound foam. For the kitchen, we can start by adding some of these kitchen drawers to this back wall. But instead of this one, we'll have a stove. And instead of this one, we'll have a cupboard. To make this look a little bit more modern, I do still want to cover this up with some trap doors. And then above the stove, I want to have one of these vent things. And then we can add a bunch of cabinets. Because this is kind of um, floating and not really connected to anything, <laughs> I'm just going to cover the top of this area with some black carpet so it, it kind of looks like it's put together. Sort of. <laughs> But now over on this side, we could have a microwave. We could add a blender over here and we can have some salt and pepper. Across from this, we can make a big island this time. We could put a sink in the middle, a plate rack. And like usual, we'll pretend that these are also plates. Because this house is modern, I was able to find these really cool bar stools. And we also have this really cool light. Now on the floor over here by the sink, I just want to add a bit of black carpet. And then I want to punch out some of these blocks for some more storage. Now, because this wall over here is two blocks thick, I was thinking we could add some lights above these windows and then we can add some plants. I was also thinking that this wall by the stairs looks kind of empty. So we could fill the space with some of these black item frames to kind of pretend it's some kind of modern art. Because this home doesn't really have a proper entry area, we could put a little something over here in this empty space. We could have this counter here with a clock on the wall, some more of these funny little creeper statues, a plant over here, and a plant over here. In the storage room, uh, I think I'm actually a little too excited for this, but you all know how I love symmetry. <gasps> Look at this space. There's four blocks here to the window, four blocks here to the opening, and five blocks here. So basically, everything's gonna line up and be chef's kiss. Our pattern can be drawers on the bottom, cupboards on top, black basket cubbies on top of those, and then we can surround it with the smaller cubbies. Drawers, cupboards, cubbies, cubbies. Drawers, cupboards, cubbies, cubbies. Oh. Do you see? Do you see this room? Do you, do you see it? It's so nice. But enough with the storage room. We're going to the bathroom. Oh, well, we're not going to the bathroom. We're in the bathroom. We're decorating the bathroom. And what's really exciting is that I actually have a black toilet. Uh, granted, there's a little bit of brown on there. It's not, not the brown you're thinking of, but you, you know what I mean? It's just, it's nice. We don't have to use an upside down stair with the trap door this time. We also have a couple of black What's the difference between this one and this one? A slight shade difference. Okay, and then there's also this one. I don't like this one. This makes me upset. No matter what I do, this tub won't be centered in this room. I mean, I could. 
could put it like this way, but then it's just sticking out on awkward. I'm gonna have to use this one. Whatever, we'll have the tub there, the toilet here, and then this is probably weird, but I actually have a black shower head and I wanna use it. So I'm gonna put it right there, even though like, mm, it makes no sense. <laughs> this is actually awful. Nope, I hate it. One second. Ta-da! This is much better. As much as I wanted to use the tub, there just was not enough space for all of the things. So the tub got sacrificed. But anyway, the final two rooms to decorate are the living rooms. Look at what I found. These sofas just so happen to perfectly match the chairs in the kitchen. So obviously, we're decorating with these. We'll put one over here, leave a space, add a table, leave a space, add a sofa. Because this is technically two living rooms in one space, I, I am gonna do the exact same thing to the other side, though there will be some minor differences because if you notice, this wall is not the same on both sides, but that's okay, we'll make it work. I thought that this would be nice for a coffee table because it's got a little plant on it. So we'll have one here and I'll put another one on this side. On either side of all these sofas, I wanna add a bunch of these modern glass tables. That way we can add all of these lamps. And then I wanna add some plants on either side of this doorway. To help separate both sides of this living room, I was thinking that we could kind of um, modify this wall a little bit and put a giant fireplace in the middle of the room. We could place three campfires, three of these little black fireplace guards, and then we could just build up with this block all the way to the ceiling. Obviously, we're gonna have to break a couple of these blocks around here. And then to give it a little more dimension, we'll add some slabs above for a mantle. Since we have a fireplace now, we obviously have to add a cozy carpet and we can add a couple of these floor cushions. Now because there's a little extra space over on this wall, we're gonna fill it up with some books. And just like that, the black house is complete. Let me show you around. When you walk in, the first thing you see is this beautiful black modern kitchen. We've got some fancy modern bar stools. We've got a sink in the island with some plates drying. We've got a microwave and we even have a blender. Over here, we just have a decorative little drop zone. And then behind the kitchen, we have this beautiful storage room that leads us to the bathroom. In this bathroom, we have two vanities with our beautiful vanity lights, some mirrors, uh, our pretend soap bars, and some incense. We've got a beautiful shower and a toilet. Over this way, we have a huge great room that has two living rooms in it. We've got a seating area over here, a seating area over here, a big fireplace in the middle, and some books on the wall. Then as we go upstairs, we, uh, we see my attempt at modern art, but if if you keep going up the stairs, you'll find the gaming room with our cool RGB gaming setup. We've got a fun carpet, some soundproofing foam, and then next to the gaming room, we have the theater. If we head out of the theater and go down the hallway, we'll find my favorite room, the bedroom. I don't know why, I just, I love this room so much. It's so cute. I love the bed, I love the fairy lights, and I love all the random decorations on this shelf. But what's your favorite room? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe.